Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna do a video where I do a back to school makeup look and this is the look I came up with on my face right now. So if you would like to see how I got this everyday look for back to school, then please keep watching. So I'm gonna start out with some primer. This is from Milani, it's their Prime Perfection Face Primer. It is hydrating and pore minimizing and it's oil free. So I'm gonna use this to moisturize and also to prime my face all in one step. It makes it easier so you don't have to do two steps. Of course, if you want to and you have enough time, you can moisturize and then prime. That's a little bit better, but for the sake of this video and getting ready faster and realistically sometimes when you're running short on time you don't want to do a moisturizer and primer because you need to continue and move on with your makeup so you can get out the door. And I do like this primer and it is definitely a moisturizing primer. It doesn't make your skin feel greasy. The only thing is I don't like the smell. So I put this on my entire face. Even on my nose where I get oily because even if you have oily skin you still want to moisturize it and prime it because you want to help balance your skin because your skin actually gets more oily when it's dry if you have oily prone skin. And also foundation and other products don't go on as well if you don't moisturize or prime your face first. I'm going to use the Burt's Bees Coconut and Pear Moisturizing Lip Balm. They have like so many scents of this but this is just the one I have right now. I also really like the Mango one but I don't have that one. It smells so good. It smells like coconut. Mmm, smells delicious. And it's kind of sweet tasting. Not that you should eat it, but if you lick your lips, it doesn't taste bad. So now for the face. I know that if you're in either high school or college, you might not wear foundation on an everyday basis. It totally depends on the person. If you like wearing foundation every day, that is great. If you don't like wearing foundation every day, that's great as well. It just totally depends on what you like to do and what makes you feel comfortable and feel your best and what you have time to do. So don't feel like you have to wear foundation just because I'm doing foundation today in this back to school get ready. But if you do want to wear foundation, an affordable one that is Probably my favorite foundation from the drugstore is the Revlon Colorstay Makeup. This is the one for combination oily skin, and they also have one for normal to dry skin. So depending on what type of skin you have, if you have normal to dry or combination oily. I think the one for combination oily skin is a bit thicker than the normal to dry skin one. That one's a little bit more liquidy. But I have the shade 150 buff. I love this foundation because depending on how much you put on, you could do like medium to full coverage. It definitely covers all your redness. It's very long wearing. And mine is almost empty. I'm going to use my little blending sponge. This is from Eco Tools. It's their version of a beauty blender. And I used it like yesterday so I have some foundation on it already. So this is an affordable option for a beauty blender. I think these are probably like between five and ten dollars at Ulta so if you want to try a beauty blender but you don't want to spend twenty dollars I would definitely recommend this it's really good this is not wet right now though I don't feel like getting it damp right now but you could dampen it and it'll get bigger and be more squishy so I'm just gonna apply it on my whole face And if you don't like using a typical foundation, another product I recommend is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is their Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. And I like this because it's more like natural and more like an everyday makeup if you like to have a more natural finish that so it doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. And if you just don't like the feel of foundation on your skin, this basically feels like a gel moisturizer and it hydrates your skin. But it still has pretty good coverage because usually tinted moisturizers have like no coverage in my opinion. This is the only one I've used that actually had decent coverage. So it's not full coverage, it's probably like light to medium coverage. If you use this along with concealer and set it or maybe use a colored powder to set your face, you're like good to go. You could even just use this with a colorless setting powder and use concealer where you need to have a little bit more coverage. So that's another product that I would recommend and it's really easy to apply. You could basically just apply it with your fingers or a brush. I wouldn't recommend using this with a beauty blender. I think when I use it with a beauty blender, it soaked it up. But yeah, I do really like this product. It's pretty good. The only thing is it's more expensive than the Revlon one. It just depends on how much you use every day and how much you're willing to spend on your foundation. <laughs> so next is concealer. I'm gonna use this one from Catrice. It's their liquid camouflage concealer and I have the shade Light Beige. I really like this concealer. It's probably like one of the best concealers I've tried from the drugstore. It doesn't irritate my eyes. I can use it basically on my entire face, including my under eye area. Some concealers, I find that when I use them under my eyes, they irritate my eyes, especially ones from the drugstore. It's pretty full coverage. It covers really well. It blends really well, so I really like this. And I think this is like 5 or $6 at Ulta. The only thing is, I think they only have three colors at Ulta, which are pretty light. This is actually the darkest shade they have, and I'm pretty fair skin, so if you have like medium to tan skin or darker, you're probably not going to find a shade from them, because unless they come out with new shades sometime soon, they only have three shades, and this is the darkest. That's the downside. I wish that they would come out with more because it's a pretty good formula. So I just apply some to my under eyes. Okay, before I do the rest of my face, I'm just gonna blend that out so that it doesn't set too fast. I'm gonna conceal it a little bit on my nose 
just because I have large pores there and my nose gets pretty red. So concealer helps to cover that. And I really like this concealer because it blends really nicely and doesn't, I don't know, it's like you can't really see the concealer once it blends out. I mean, you can see the coverage, but it doesn't look like you're wearing a ton of concealer. If you have really bad under eye circles and you don't have a really full coverage concealer, you can try using this NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I do really like this product. If I'm using one of my lighter coverage concealers, I put this on my under eyes before the concealer and it works really well to camouflage my dark circles. To set my face, I'm going to use my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder and this is their powder that's made with 100% pure silica so there's no talc in this and it's just a white colorless powder. When you apply it to your skin you don't see it and it's like very finely milled. It's very very like powdery but it's really silky. It makes your skin feel super silky and it really helps to control oil throughout the day so it's a really good option if you have oily skin especially if you're going to be at school all day and you don't want to have to worry about having to touch up your makeup or your makeup getting like greasy or oily throughout the day. So before I apply it to my under eyes, I just blend with that sponge just to make sure there's no creasing. Okay, so now that my face is set, I'm going to start bronzing up my face. I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is in the shade Bronzer. They have another color that I think is a little bit lighter. I don't remember what it's called. It might be called like light bronzer or something. So I'm just going to use this to kind of like contour and bronze at the same time. I know that looks really harsh right now, but I'm going to blend it out. And then I use a larger brush. This one is from Crown Brush, but you can use any kind of like large fan brush. So then I use this brush just to help blend that out. I go back into the bronzer and then just start blending. And this helps to just diffuse the lines so that everything looks more blended. And then I use that same bronzer color just to contour my nose a little bit. And you, of course, do not have to do this. It's all up to your own preference, what you like to do. But I didn't used to do this when I was in high school or college, so definitely it's up to what you like to do and what makes you feel comfortable and everything. Okay, so after bronzer, I use some blush, and I'm gonna use my Physicians Formula Butter Blush. And this one is in the shade Plum Rose. I like this blush because it's a really like wearable blush that doesn't look too harsh and it's not like too pink and too pigmented, but it's really blendable, so I really like it. Okay, so now the last thing for the face is highlight. I'm gonna use my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight. I really like this highlight. It's a really good highlight from the drugstore. The brand Essence is really affordable. And I like using highlight because I think it just gives a really nice, like, healthy glow to your skin. You don't have to make it too pigmented and too intense. You could just do it really light if you like to. It just depends on what you like, but I think it just makes your skin look a little bit more healthy and glowy and bright. But this is another thing that you can definitely skip if you don't want to do it. See, it just makes your cheeks look so nice and glowy. I think it just makes your skin look a lot healthier. Okay, so now that the face is done, I'm going to move on to my eyes, so I'll zoom you in a little bit. I'm going to use this e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. I really like the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palettes 1 and 2. This is the original one. It's more cool toned. So I'm going to start with this shade right here. I'm going to add this to my crease. I'm going to do a really simple eye look today. I'm just going to use a fluffy blending brush. And I didn't set the concealer on my eyes yet, but the concealer has kind of like set down. It's not that tacky anymore. So I'm just going to go in with the eyeshadow and just define my crease. And now I'm going to go into the light shade over here for my brow bone and just going to add this to my brow bone just to set down that concealer and blend the transition shade where it meets my brow bone. 
But this is a really easy because you could basically just do your eye makeup really fast with this and it still makes your eyes look like defined and like you made an effort without spending too much time because it's not really harsh bright colors it's really like neutral and really easy to just you know work with and blend easily so now i'm going to use this it is the maybelline color tattoo metal 24 hour eyeshadow in this little jar it's like their cream eyeshadow and this one is in the shade barely branded so it's a really like wearable champagne color and i'm just going to use my finger and apply this to my lid and since this is something that you just apply with your finger it makes it really easy and it's really fast so just i just add it on my lid And if you wanted, you could just add this without anything in your crease. Totally up to you, but if you want to have something to define your crease, you could just use those elf shadows or whatever you have. So that just like really brightens up your lid and just makes your eyes look a little bit more awake. I'm gonna go back into that same shade I used before this one. Just apply some to the crease just to blend in with the shade that is on my lid now. Okay, so I'm going to stop with that for my lid, I think. Just, I want to keep it simple. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go into this brownie shade right here and just basically smudge my lower lash line. This is a really easy way to line and define your lower lash line and kind of smoke it out a little bit. And it doesn't take that long because it's just a shadow, so it's really forgivable and easy to blend out. And I'm just going to do a winged liner, but you could totally skip this step or substitute just with regular liner. It's up to you, whatever you'd like to do. So I'm going to use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And this is just a black liner and it has a brush tip rather than a felt tip. It does take some time getting used to it, but once you get used to it, it's really easy to apply. Okay, so now that my eyeliner is done, I'm going to put on some mascara. This is just the Maybelline The Falsies Big Eyes Mascara. This is a waterproof one, but of course, use whatever mascara you have. This one has one brush for your upper lashes and one brush for your lower lashes. Makes it a little bit easier to do your lower lashes, but of course, just do whatever mascara you like. I actually don't know if I really like this mascara yet. I've only used it a couple times so far. I prefer the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara because that really makes my lashes look really voluminous and thickens them and makes them look longer and curls them. This doesn't do as good of a job. I would use the L'Oreal one, but it's dried up. It's too old. Yeah, I don't really like this mascara. There's other mascaras I've used that I like a lot better, but I'm just using this because this is the only drugstore mascara I have that is like fresh and opened right now. I do like it for your lower lashes though because it does have that skinny wand so you can get to your lower lashes really easily. Off camera, I did my brows real quick just because I just didn't want to do my brows on camera because my brows take a long time. And also because when I was in high school, I didn't do my brows. When I was in college, I don't think I did my brows either. You know, brows are something that not everyone has to do depending on whether or not you have really full natural brows. So I just didn't want to do my brows on camera. So my face is basically done. I'm just going to finish off with a lip product. Depending on what you like, you could either use a lipstick or a lip gloss or both. One lipstick that I really like is the NYX Butter Lipstick. They sell this at the drugstore and I have the shade Snack Shack. It's a really easy to wear like everyday nude and it's a really creamy formula so it doesn't look drying on your lips or anything. So this is how it looks with just the lipstick on its own. It's a really easy to apply lipstick because it's just a regular typical lipstick. It's not a liquid lipstick that you have to take a lot of time to, you know, define the line. And since it's like a nude shade, it's really easy to fix any mistakes. And since it is a cream like butter formula, it's not matte. So it's very forgiving if you know if you have dry lips. But if you like to use a gloss, one of the glosses I like is from Shea Moisture. It is their Superfruit Sheer Tinted Lip Gloss, and I have the shade Primrose. So you can totally just wear a gloss on its own or a lip balm on its own, whatever you prefer. I love this gloss because it smells so good. It smells like candy. It smells really sweet. And it's a very sheer gloss, so if you wore it on its own, it's just going to give a really sheer tint of color to your lips. But it's basically like a nude peach gloss. And it just gives a little bit of shine to your lips. It's not like a super sticky gloss. I don't like sticky glosses. And then the last step, this is totally optional, but if you have setting spray, you can use a setting spray. This is from Milani. It's their Make It Last setting spray. This will just help your makeup to last longer throughout the day and also help all the powders to kind of blend into your skin. But if you don't have time, you can skip it.
Okay, so that completes this look using all affordable products that you could find at the drugstore or at Ulta for a back to school look. So I just wanted to do this video just to give you guys some inspiration if you're getting ready to go back to school, whether you're in high school or college, really no matter what age you are, if you are into makeup, you can kind of like do a similar look or just adapt certain things I used. You can totally skip steps, it's all up to you. I just wanted to show you all the steps I would take if I was gonna do a full everyday look for school, but I wouldn't do this, of course, if I had a big test coming up and I got no sleep and I needed to use the extra time in the morning to either catch up on sleep or study or eat breakfast. Those are things that you should definitely put before makeup if you're in school, but if it's one of those days that you have time, then this is what I would do just to, you know, especially maybe if you have a picture day. If you have a picture day or if it's like a special day at school where you're gonna be taking pictures or anything like that, or maybe just the first day of school when you want to just come back and like just look your best and feel good about yourself. And all of these products were affordable products that you could find at either Ulta or the drugstore or Target. I just wanted to mention a couple more affordable options for blush and bronzers that I forgot to mention during the video. So these are both both from the brand Essence. Whoa. These are both from the brand Essence. It is a Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder and the Essence Satin Touch Blush. I would recommend both of these. They're both really good products. I basically go between Physician's Formula and Essence. These are both really good and they're more affordable than the Physician's Formula. Physician's Formula is really good as well, but I just wanted to mention these because they are a little bit more affordable. And another really great product for the lips I would recommend if you just want a very like sheer wash of color on your lips, but basically just wear a lip balm, is the Nivea Kiss of Cherry Fruity Lip Care. I'll show you how this looks just on my hand. It has barely any pigment to it. It's very sheer and light, but it just makes your lips look really pretty and like pink and a little bit red. And it's a really nice moisturizing formula. This is basically just a tinted lip balm. So I definitely recommend this. They sell this at Ulta. You could probably find it at Target and like other drugstores as well, wherever they sell Nivea products. So that completes my back to school makeup look. I hope this helps if you are a student that's going back to school in the next couple of weeks. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you have a great school year coming up. Yeah, so do well in school and be safe and I hope you have a wonderful school year. I hope you come back for another video. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.